Starting the recording. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was a big ordeal. Yeah, way more than it needs to be. Thank you, Microsoft, for screwing with Skype. <laughs> okay. They don't want it yet. Yeah, actually, yes. they do. Europe approved it. And anyways, that's that's not why we're gathered here today. Um, I I have named the title R.I.P. Jobs. Do we have something more appropriate? We may spend the whole episode on that. We may not. I don't know. <laughs> Did you want to do that for iWorld, though? Uh, I want to touch on it here. We're going to cover that more in, in, in iWorld. We're going to cover it a lot more in iWorld. Uh, we're also going to have our... Apple fanboy show up for iWorld, which may get interesting. <laughs> um, you mean I'm not the Apple fanboy? Oh, <laughs> no, no, you, you hate iWorld. You, 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 you're. I don't you know what you. You're getting airy again, Bob. <laughs> uh, I, 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 don't whatever you do, don't talk loud, Bob. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're, you're a moderate. For some reason beyond my comprehension, you like Apple, but you're more a fan of the classic Apple, and you criticize Apple for the current stuff they're doing. You're not like a blind hard Apple is always right because they're Apple. You're not even making it. <laughs> yes. and, and, and then there's the people. No, no, no. It's like it, I, I, I. I mean, there's people who go off on, you know, everybody should just do what Apple does. App Apple does what Apple does. Everybody should do it the Apple way. Okay, that doesn't even work for everybody in Apple's industry, let alone other industries or other things. Or that's, you know, that's... What about that dice we got that sells that computers? <laughs> Anyways, so do you want to completely skip that for this episode and just do it all in iWorld, or you want to say anything here? Or I, think, I mean, I think it's appropriate for uh, iWorld, unless these guys want to comment on it from the, you know, the species. Yeah, but you may not show up for iWorld. <laughs> so I'll, I'll be there. You say that. He says that now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I finished, I finished most of my big projects, so. Okay. We'll call the episode No Jobs Then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a the man, the man just died, but that was like a week ago. That could be taken the wrong way, though. Well, that's kind of the point of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure. If, I'm sure if people take it the wrong way, wrong way, they'll lynch us this time. Okay. Um. So you hate Mel too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I might take heat for that one. <laughs> uh, I might take heat for that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. The first things we got on the list here is uh, Netflix. I, how many of y'all are members of Netflix? I am. Okay, did you get the little, you know, we've decided we're not going to split the company in two email they sent out to everybody? Yeah, I think they, uh, you know, I don't, I don't pay much attention to, to the emails, but I'm sure it's somewhere in my email box. Yeah, it, 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 it's, this email is almost comical. You know, basically it says, um... It is clear that for many of our members, two websites would make things more difficult. So we are going to keep Netflix as one piece and go for the strength of DVDs. This, mean, this means no change, one website, one account. You know, we had to have a price increase, but yada, 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 yada. We are currently improving our own. But basically, they decided it would be a bad idea to launch Quickster. That because what they wanted to do was send all the DVD stuff over to Quickster and Netflix was streaming only. Um, yeah, I think, I think the whole Netflix thing. I don't know what happened. Somebody had a brain fart up there. I have no problem with raising rates. You know, uh, cost of doing business, and they should have left it at that. I mean, if they if they wanted to maybe do a better plan and say, okay, we'll, we'll meet the fifty percent mark uh, at this level, and then another two years or whatever, based upon our contracts, we'll increase it to the full one hundred percent. And that's the cost of doing business. Well, no, and, 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 and I, I, yourself, customers, I don't know how things go up in price. I mean, it's just, 
If you don't like it, go somewhere else. You know, I love well, I, I, college. I haven't published a video yet, but I'm using Netflix as part of my solution to get rid of my god awful cable company. You know, <laughs> and it was not free. All these analysts that said uh, streaming was free it was not free. It was part of the price of the package. Period. And I mean, because Netflix had a, it's always had a stream only package of what you pay for. So they 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 pretty much had a value assessed to it and, and what it cost them as a service to provide to the customer. And that's the price of the sign on it. wasn't free. It was free. It was free. You know, so all these people went back and forth. They did. And Netflix is even more embarrassing trying to, I don't know what they did. It's like they should have left something alone. It was fine. <laughs> Well, everybody freaked out over the extra five bucks, and, and you know, five bucks is not nothing to sneeze at right now because that is sixty bucks a year. But you know, the reality is that's less than half the cost of some DVDs. So you know, yeah, I, have, I have a lot more other things to, 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 to bitch about that have uh, increased prices on. Yeah, it's a particular, particularly the box that's going away at the end of this month because they really keep increasing their prices. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Netflix has always provided a great service without fail, really, for me. So, I mean, yeah. They've always had excellent service. I, I, I don't know. They've well, there's a lot of people who are bitching endlessly about that. Like, they're saying, oh, I'm leaving my Netflix because it went up five bucks. I'm like, really? Well, right, then. I'm telling you, no. Fine. Have fun. Sorry, you know. That's how business is. Good God, can you imagine if every company apologized for increasing their prices? <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, it's like, what, what, what do we live in today? Uh, companies should pay more to their workers just because. They shouldn't raise their prices to absorb costs just because. Uh, uh, I don't know. We live in a weird world. I'm sure it makes sense to some people. <laughs> now, what I don't like about Netflix is uh, when you're streaming, I can see squares. I don't like squares. I don't want to see squares. I don't care if it says it's I made. don't see squares I on the Roku. If I had one major bitch about Netflix, it would be that when you try and access the streaming webbing from a Linux box, they tell you you have to change your OS. And I'm like, Net Netflix, um, the Roku runs on Linux, and it plays Roku your stuff just... Yeah, it, 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 if they want to do that crap, they need to make an app, or they need yeah. to fix it. I don't know which. Didn't you hear in the news that they're going to make one within a year? Yeah. They're making a proprietary app for Linux, most uh, Okay. Uh, like I said, if they want to go this whole DRM out the wazoo route like that, then they need to make the app. They need to do the work. If they're going to port the apps that they've made for Android and Roku and all these other Linux devices over to a shell script install for Linux, I'm fine with that. Because then I have the same access I have everywhere else. I, I don't know what you do to try to keep partners from all. Oh, we're gonna re they gonna record Netflix. They can just do a screen capture if they really want that bad, or they go to other places and get it. You know, then they're gonna stop pirates. Yeah, and uh, see, that's the thing. They're only hurting honest users. They're doing nothing to stop pirates, and that's what's so stupid about it. Anyways, on a related note, like I said, I am getting rid of my cable. They, I, I've had it. It, it they, I basically got rid of four things, and the bill went up. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I just like, yeah, I, I don't, that, yeah, it's cable. <laughs> That's the explanation right there. So I decided it's going away. I thought, uh, you're, just, you, you're trying to save money and you end up spending more money. Exactly. I was like, oh, screw it. We'll just turn it off. <laughs> but that goes into what HBO's doing here. HBO has decided they want to get into the streaming thing and they're going to allow things like Roku's and the other services to access HBO streaming. But in a fit of brilliance, they've decided the only people who can have access to this are people who are buying HBO through their cable company. Uh, I hate this old school business mentality. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, if I had HBO through my cable company, why would I need it on my non-traditional box? It has to do with the advertising. I know most of these models from these guys that want, uh, it's all about piping uh, viewership in accordance to the way their advertising models work. But until they are able to separate it and make the entire logistics for billing 
um, their advertisers with their... It's the same as the magazine ads. company. They sell ads, basically. Okay, but this, yeah. is, this is HBO. Well, that's, what this provides, that's what provides the... Uh, first, you, they get licensed, of course, uh, via the, content, for, uh, the uh, content portals, but then they have their own uh, advertising, sadly. You know, cable used to be commercial-free. Uh, way back when, but uh, that's that's long gone. So of course they have their own advertisers, and uh, their their licensing. Uh, to, the, to the, my best guess would have to be that they have to funnel everything through that pricing model. Well, see, I, I I would buy that for BBCA and Fox and CNBC and all of those things, but I have a hard time buying that for HBO because HBO is basically ad free. I mean, what ads are on HBO? I see ads all the time on HBO. Oh, I, 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 HBO, I, you can tell how long it's been since I've had HBO. <laughs> but the HBO does ads now. They've become like the Disney Channel. They're, not, they're a premium channel ads. It's a premium channel, but you, they still have their own little uh, items, you know. I, I, I actually stopped HBO uh, last month. I was just tired of the repeat stuff and the little shows and things. But uh, I, that's my best guess is that they just don't have a way of if, if, if it's not so much the advertising then, then it's the licensing through the, the, the content providers uh, and making them, like Comcast or, or DirecTV or whatever, maybe uh, their agreements with them require that the service is exclusive to those guys only in making an alternative means of entry to HBO outside of those avenues is a breach of contract and they probably don't want to do that. So it's, if it's, it's either the advertising or the license agreements they have with these cable providers. Well, whichever it is, they need to get it straightened out because there's a growing number of people who are like me who sat down and did the math. And the reality is between uh, Hulu and Hulu Plus and Netflix, I'm going to be spending roughly 25 bucks a month Get with the exception of BBC. I'm going to get every single thing of content I care about. I'm going to get to watch all the shows I watch, because I can get those through Hulu Plus, uh, and I'm going to get access to way more crap than I ever got access to through uh, the cable feed through Netflix. Basically, the only thing I'm going to be missing is Doctor Who, uh, which I'll just have to be a year behind and wait till the DVDs come to Netflix or go buy the DVDs. But that's going to save me, in my case, 600 bucks plus a year and, and the reality is that's enough money for me to justify spending you know an extra two to five bucks a month on a premium Roku channel but not enough for me to spend the extra 600 bucks to then get the premium Roku channel it's like I would pay them the money directly I am not putting up with the cable company anymore and there's a lot of people who are getting in that boat it's I mean I don't see how people are going to continue to put up with that, unless they get... you can pay that little BBC tax, you know, just, here, give me the channel, leave me no, alone. No, uh, BBC is one, of the, is one of the content sources I would consider a premium feed and pay for. You know, I pay upwards of five bucks a month for BBC. Hey, here, so like, here's like a whole discussion about HBO advertisements. There's this guy who's saying, uh, you know, this is, a, this is a, last month, he's saying, um, in recent times, HBO has increased their ad time slots. And I noticed kind of that too. And in, in each ad break runs uh, to as long as 10 minutes, followed by 10 minutes of a movie. Increase. It's a little better uh, later, but I'm just reading what this guy is saying, but it is too high. A 120 minute movie goes as long as 165 minutes because of ad breaks. And so um, this other guy goes, yeah, the, uh, the, movie run, the movie running just now, and he's, he's saying he's watching Teen Wolf, there were breaks at 9.50, 10 p.m., 10, 10, 10.20. So what? Uh, no, HBO now is like watching a movie on TNT. You're watching and you go to a cut scene and you, and you go to an ad instead of going to the next scene? <laughs> then, 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 then forget it. I, I, I don't want anything to do with HBO then. Forget it. That's, like, that, that's not... You, the whole reason for paying money for something like HBO or Show or Star is just so you can watch the movie. <laughs> not... <laughs> Oh I mean, when I had it, they, were, they ran, they had some movies, that, there were movies that were ad-free, but there were, I don't know, there was like these allotments of stuff like, like, am I watching a premium channel or not? 
and it became your extinct. Yeah, no, it, a premium, that's one of the things you expect from a premium channel. If it's a premium channel, if you're going to have any commercials at all, they're in between the content, not during the content. Yeah, okay. I still have the old school mentality. It's like, when cable first came out, I was like, okay, am I paying for it? I shouldn't have to watch commercials. That's my mentality. Yeah, but that boat settled a long ass time ago. Yeah, I know, but they got greedy. They get greedy again, get greedy again, get greedy again, and everything will be paid in ads or just be ad only. Well, but see, welcome to what we have with Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus, you're paying for access to the content, and it's full of ads. So, yeah, exactly. That's what it's going to evolve into. <laughs> right now, there's short ad breaks. <laughs> Let's hope they stay that way. <laughs> yeah, they're going to get greedy and greedy and greedy. You know them. Oh, well, if they if they keep... To, if, that's the problem with the thing. That's why I'm getting away from the stupid cable, because it's so watered down with crap that has nothing to do with anything, you can't even enjoy the content anymore. That in mind doesn't work. This is now the eighth box of the year. We've decided, fuck it. <laughs> uh, does anybody else share my sentiments with Samsung, or should I just keep that ranting to myself? I'm just going to say this, because it's not just Samsung, it's an HTC thing, too. I know. I, 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 I have decided Motorola only, please. And to me, if I'm buying a device, you would better make damn well sure that something as simple as having internet access on a 3G-enabled device doesn't cause a fucking security breach. Excuse my language. <laughs> Well, that's the other thing. Uh, all of these carriers are removing the built-in feature for tethering, so I'm like, you know, I, let me get it straight. I'm paying Microsoft for an OS they didn't create. I'm paying the carrier for a feature that's built into the OS. It's like, okay, so what exactly am I not paying extra for that's included for free? I'm, you know, that's... Oh, and, and HTC I could have forgiven because at the time they didn't own any patents. Samsung has more than enough patents to actually legitimately fight this. Well, Google's going to get in the way soon. I mean, now they've got a patent portfolio. Well, no, th th this is one of the reasons I... The universe, and I'm sure that they're going to... I don't uh, get why the Justice Department thinks Google buying Motorola is a bad idea. It's like, somehow they think Microsoft suing people for something they didn't write is in the best interest of the consumer, but Google buying a hardware carrier so they can make, a hardware company so they can make a flagship product and fight back, that's well, bad for the consumer? The price increased? How, how much are the price increases going to be uh, for these Samsung products? Uh, upwards of 25 to 30 bucks. So they've said that? Yeah. It, that is, a, a, HTC got off really cheap, but some of them is upwards of 25 to 30 bucks. What's this with your, Na your NASA copyright or after, for talking about NASA? Oh, yeah. That, that video you referred to about the budget thing in NASA, uh -huh. we have got a YouTube copyright complaint for including that newscast and citing it. Which newscast did we include? The, oh, you mean uh, Bolton's? It, it, whichever oh. one you, like, uh, reference from overseas or whatever when the guy was overseas explaining the yeah from Al Jazeera oh yeah uh, yeah it's it's it's, it's complaining it's a, you violation of uh, yeah they don't want anybody to know they don't want anybody to know what this is I hate the coverage please don't do that that's ridiculous I know. And we left their logo on everything. We were like very clear. It's their thing. We're so, we, we gave like uh, it's wow. Uh, oh, well. they come to take you away. You, you know what? If if this is how it's gonna work on YouTube, they need to add a feature where you can just put a link mark in to say, okay, this is my playlist, but I'm gonna cite this other YouTube video. Link it in. You know, if that's the way you have to do it, and that would work better for counting the view metrics and stuff, anyways. You know, that's but uh, it's, this copyright thing is getting ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, it's artificial, uh, you know, like, uh, 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, what the heck happened? What? I don't know. You just went black or something. I did. My camera. Racist. Was... <laughs> oh, I can't see myself. You're coming through black here. Uh, I don't know. I can see myself here. Can you see me now or no? Uh, you're uh, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna turn my video back on. So maybe I don't know. Is that my help? It's reloading. Why don't we hear a phone call? I, I don't know. All uh, right, I think you're Skype back. Call me Ed Bob back. Okay. <laughs> He's not coming in. Uh, you, you, you call him then. I'm at to the conference. Alright, let's just try this again. Um, you find my name, call me, and I'll add Bob. Dude, you're already here. Just add him when he... I, I can't. I click add to conference and it's not happening. So hang up and call me again. <sighs> now add him. Jeez. Have you yes. I haven't stopped the recording, but I almost need to. Well, that's pretty good. This is just uh, this is comedy gold. <laughs> and you're still a black screen. Me? I'm sorry. I, I have you know I'll reload it again. I have to care having Skype issues. I, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. Skype's been being weird all week. I, I haven't been able to talk right to Skype. I'll, I'll hang up and call again. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Don't y'all love Skype? <laughs> I love Microsoft. I love Microsoft. There we go. Nope. 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 <laughs> You're still a black uh, screen. Do you have it or something? Okay, I'm gonna just close Skype and relaunch it here. Okay. This is ridiculous. <laughs> MS Control has landed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm using it on Windows for them to like try and keep them happy over here, but it's just no, it's still being yes. Yeah. Join the club. I'm running it on Windows too. Yeah, and, and that's the problem. We're running it on Windows today. Yeah, normally at least I'm running mine on Linux, so at least it doesn't cut in and out all the time. <laughs> Just most of the time. Uh, well, I guess I'll probably work better on a Mac. <laughs> Why don't you try to uh, record it from the Mac? <laughs> Maybe we should ask Marcel to start doing the recording. <laughs> Well, now he's not even showing his online. He probably restarted. He was switching computer and all the two. Hey! Jesus. All right. All then. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Is there somebody actually on screen now? I know, what happened? <laughs>